what we find is when we you know strap on an, an EEG to somebody's head and, and show them these ads what we find is it's the simple things that tend to work So we, we just did um, a, a big study for, for a, a company that, that, that produces um, allergy drugs. And so one of the things that, that we found is, is with an allergy drug, if you start your ad with somebody suffering, so you know the, the usual allergy ad is, oh, my head is so stuffed up and I can't breathe and I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. If you start it with that, what happens is, is that that instinctual brain sees that person suffering and they emotionally run away is, is what they do. And so what, what, what you got to do is if you want to get them, you've got to start the ad with, oh, oh, my head's so clear. This is just a fantastic day. I'm, 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 I'm going to get everything done. I feel so good. Here's to confidence. I've been dreaming, I'm dreaming. Gillette helps you look, feel, be your best. Gillette, the best a man can get. The point is that none of these ads are really about shaving. Gillette. All these ads are about how men want to feel about themselves. How do you interpret what triggers somebody to like, comment, or share something? Well, what, what it really get, comes down to are, are those specific things that touch some sort of unemotional chord in us. And this is what millennials now are, are telling us that, that they want. So, you know, it used to be there weren't a lot of really good quality products. You know, there, there'd be some great brand and there would only be maybe one or, or two of them. Now, in this copycat world, you produce something great, somebody will have a copycat of it in 10 minutes. And so I've got an almost infinite number of good quality choices for any product that I choose, whether it's a cola or shoes or a car or what, whatever it is. So what the next level now is from a very sophisticated audience of millennials who have spent their entire life being sold to, they don't want just companies that, that produce good things. They want, to, they want to have companies that match their values. They want to have a company that matches what they believe about the world. So it's not okay anymore for you to be a company and not to have a, a very thorough, amazing YouTube channel that thoroughly explains what you stand for in, in the world. And this is the new level of marketing. This authenticity is what it's really all about. You've got to show the world that you're matching the values of, of your customers and you truly have their business. You know the guys with me out there, Deadliest Catch lovers, yeah, and I look at this show and I go, why do I like this show? Because I'm watching grown men fish. I, I hate fishing. I despise cold weather. I've got these kind of soft office boy kind of hands, you know. If I were to go out on this boat, they would use me as bait on this boat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it five minutes on this boat. Yet somehow, I see that show and I kind of go, I could go out and spend a year on a crab boat. I've come to accept the Discovery Channel understands me better than I understand myself. <laughs>